Star Wars. serious person behind the screen so today we're just going to be talking about Star Wars so as I film this it's um, four days until Force Awakens releases I'm beyond excited it's the last week of school for me and my school actually finishes early on Friday so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go see it early um, why am I why are you saying I'm going to see it early no I'm going to see it when school finishes uh, with a few of my friends, and I'm so excited on Friday. It's going to be amazing. Finally, I'll find out what this character that's been sitting on my Blu-ray player for ages actually means. So yeah, my first experience with Star Wars, quite controversially, was the prequels, in a way. Uh, the Clone Wars animated series got me introduced to it. And because I was big into the Clone Wars series, I got this. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga for the 360. I played this to death. I hadn't seen any of the films. And I just thought, why? This is brilliant. And um, I really did. I thought it was great. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. And um, it's still a good game. And it's just... And then that made me want to go watch the film. So I started with the prequels, unfortunately. You know what? I'm, t I'm tired of defending the prequels. I don't think they're great. But I enjoy watching them. Um... Not episode two though. Episode two sucks, but honestly, I don't mind one and three. At least they tried with it, and yeah. Um, obviously, the originals are far superior. There's the box, and they are great, and I love watching them. I just wish they were the special edition. Having to watch them in crystal clear HD, but with all those unnecessary changes, like Jabba the Hutt in episode four, that unnecessary dance scene in. Uh, from Return of the Jedi, changing Boba Fett's voice in The Empire Strikes Back, and so many others that I just can't... Ca Greedo shooting first. So many others just ruin the film, and I really do want them theatrically released as they were in the 70s, not some botched abomination version. I could go on and on about how these changes basically ruin the film, but I'm not going to, because I'll just put a really downbeat mood on this video. That's for another time. Yeah, my main source of Star Wars Horn Jungle was basically the Clone Wars series, and I still have them, I just never watched them, which is a bit odd. Um, and Clone Wars games, there's a few down there. Um, and then obviously I got into the films and they were brilliant, but I, I found myself when I was younger watching the prequels more. I'm not sure why. It's just, I, I, when I was younger, I thought they were better. I honestly did. I, I, episode 2 was my favourite, and I hated Episode 4. Blasphemy, I know. It's it's really... I, I, I don't know why I thought that. Maybe I just like the flashy CGI. Obviously, now, of course, I do prefer the originals, but... You know, I grew up and realised sense. But yeah, I do love Star Wars. It is, it is brilliant. Who doesn't? But I've seen a lot of people now who, who really don't like it or haven't watched it before. And I'm just like, well, you are missing out, dude. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. And I've got Chewy here as well on the blue player. He's great. I've got about a dozen lightsabers. I've got way too much. And, um, yeah, my passion has um, kicked off again with the uh, Force Awakens coming out. It's, it's just... It's this, it's this sense of, of, of redemption, you know? It's like Star Wars is getting back. And, it, and it's it, even Harrison Ford, everyone's saying it's so good. And oh, I really want to see it so bad. I just can't wait for Friday. It's going to be so, so good. And uh, what's that? Oh, it's Missy. I thought my ear had just, like, grown out then. To get myself in the mood, I've been playing a lot of Star Wars Battlefront lately. I really don't get the hate of this game. Honestly, don't. Yes, the DLC is overpriced, but you get that with any game now. I really enjoy the game. Just just flying around in the Starfighter, man. Who, how can you not love it? It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And I just... Oh, I just love playing this game. And the, and the sound of it, you know, it's just... Star Wars, like, captures this ch childlike innocence-ness. In innocence-ness. Like the first two Harry Potters did, and um, it's it's just it's just brilliant, and I love how people can replicate the sounds of everything, like the sound of a Tie Fighter. You just go, <laughs> just, just it's even so, the passion of the fans is amazing. Like people are already queuing up for the Force Awakens, as and it's still four days away. It's just 
it's just mind boggling really and it's just it just makes me proud to be part of the fandom really and um yeah i really uh hope that episode seven eight and nine are good really looking forward to um rogue one as well that looks very very interesting no, not really sure much about it yet though and uh looking forward to all the sequels and spin-offs not really hand solo because Han Solo seems like it's just going down the road of the prequels again, like explaining things that really don't need to be explained. But I just love how even grown men now can still do this. And not look like a complete fool in front of everyone. It is one of the, the biggest media franchises ever. The, the score I could listen to all day. I could listen to John Williams all day. Not just his Star Wars stuff as well, like the Superman theme, Indiana Jones, Harry Potter. Just everything John Williams does is brilliant. And uh, t today I was just like humming Jewel of the Fates from The Phantom Menace. Which is like... That has now become the ultimate sword fighting music. Yeah, just the fans are so dedicated as well. The amount of fan edits there are. And I really want to pick up the um the the the, the despecialized editions of these. The only thing is you you have to bend the law to get them and um when I have a problem with that, it's just the the website that you can download them from, like pop ups are everywhere. I tried looking on there, just countless pop ups. So I really don't trust it as much as I really want the D specialised editions. And how if you see how much work Harmy put into that. Oh that again, that's saw another video, it's just brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. So yeah, I uh, really hope you enjoy this sort of rambling video like Star Wars. Um Hopefully you're looking forward to The Force Awakens as well. Uh, I just can't wait for that. It's going to be so, so good. I'm really, really excited for it. So, um, yes, take care now. <laughs>